Hi, I'm Erin Kitson and I'm here in Melbourne with Kelvin Leong to talk about United Overseas Bank's recently launched Covered Bond Program. Kelvin, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Kelvin, can you briefly tell us a little bit about Covered Bonds? Uh, well, Covered Bonds are essentially bonds issued by financial institutions that are dual recourse. Uh, dual recourse because firstly, uh, the, the, the financial institution is obligated to pay the bond payments, uh, failing which a specific pool of assets being set aside will be available to, to meet those bond payments. Great. And Calvin, why is this uh, covered bond program by UOB so significant? Uh, well, it's significant because um, covered bonds are rare in this part of the world, Asia. Um, and uh, UOB's covered bond program is the second covered bond program out of Singapore mm -hmm. this year. Um, Traditionally, cover bonds is in many used by European banks as a funding source, and um, in the case, and obviously each each jurisdiction has its own uh, unique circumstances. Uh, in Singapore's case, um, banks in Singapore traditionally have a high uh, and strong uh, depositor funding base, and therefore much less reliance on wholesale funding requirements. Mm -hmm. So um, in choosing to invest in developing the cover bond uh, capacity for banks in Singapore, it's really about uh, uh, broadening their um, funding base as well as uh, giving them the capacity to really monetize the, uh, the, the pool of residential mortgage assets that they have uh, if the need ever arise. Um, and, and the UB cover bond program actually achieves this for them. Great. And Calvin, are we expecting to see more of this type of issuance in Asia going forward? Yeah, with banks in, uh, in Asia actually seeking to expand their investor base, uh, we, we, we could very well see uh, these sorts of programs um, uh, actually coming online. Um, as well as that at the same time, we may um, also see investors outside of Asia actually keen um, to actually uh, invest in Asia as well. Um, so as they get more comfortable with the jurisdiction, uh, with, with the uh, legal frameworks in place, uh, certainly that could be an impetus for, for, for greater growth in this market here. Um, and uh, case in point is Singapore with a strong legal framework, you know, um, uh, investors get more comfortable with, with, uh, with, the, with the jurisdiction involved. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Kelvin. Please remember that this CMTV is not intended for retail audiences in Australia.